Hi, this is Vamsi. I'm a business intelligence consultant. In this video, I'm going to introduce a new concept with MicroStrategy called Intelligent Cubes. Intelligence Cubes in MicroStrategy represent a multidimensional cube. Intelligent Cube loads the data from the warehouse tables into Intelligent Server memory, enabling us to build multiple reports over a cube. MicroStrategy Intelligence Cube provides faster performance as they reduce the need to query data warehouse tables for various report development. MicroStrategy Cube supports both MOLAP and ROLAP features. I don't see any difference between creating a report and a cube. Instead of selecting a report object, we will be selecting an intelligent cube. It's that simple. And as we do, do in reports, we can, we can also drill within an intelligent queue and also there is a provision to convert existing report into an into intelligent queue so all that I will be explaining you in this video so here I am clicking on new and I am selecting intelligent queue so I am building an, a fresh one so I am saying ok So I'm going to add attributes to the template. So now I'm selecting the metrics. So here, for example, here uh, year and quarter. So if I drill down from year to quarter, there's there's no performance bottleneck. But if I drill down from year to some other uh, attribute, then there will be a performance bottleneck. So because you know that is beyond the limits of the this cube and it will go and hit the database directly so I added um, different metrics like revenue, profit, cost so we can add a number of elements the size of the cube always depends upon the number of attributes and the metrics we add and the, the amount of data it holds in the backend database so I am providing a name to the cube and I am saving the cube okay so our test cube is ready okay so now like uh, I'll show you like how to publish a cube so just right click on the on the cube which is developed just now and say run so the report the cube got published here say so the status shows and uh, it, sh it says that uh, the cube got published so we can see all the objects which are which are used in this cube so, and that is one way of running the cube the best way is once you build the cube it's, it's always better to uh, schedule the refresh cube refresh so uh, I'll, I'll schedule the cube refresh in that way go to the right click and go to schedule delivery to and we can choose either of the options so uh, we can monitor the cube cache uh, under the administrative section go to the system monitors under the administration go to system monitor monitors under cache there is something called as intelligent cubes under that we can find the test the test cube which we recently ran so when we schedule it it will automatically get updated this cache will automatically be, will get up, updated so now we are gonna uh, build a report on top of this cube which will be pretty fast compared to the new report compared to a new report which we create on MicroStrategy so I'm just dragging in here and some metrics okay. and I'm running this report so the result is very fast and uh, the reason why I brought in here is I can I can drill down here and show you like uh, that we can drill down uh, drill down an attribute in intelligent cube. So I'm drilling down here. So I'm drilling down to quarter and quarter. If you find we can find quarter in the report objects here. So that is pretty straight and it will fetch the results from the intelligent cube. But if you try to drill down month or day, so it will 
the whole SQL will change in the back end so it will directly it will not fetch from the intelligent cube it will directly go and fetch from the database so here we go uh, we drill down from year to quarter so I'm removing year just to make you know make the report look better actually so, so I'm showing you the re, uh, different options like different attributes we can drill down to so I'll show you like some other options uh, which are available with with the cube with the intelligence cube so i'm just going to the configuration intelligent cube options and there uh, i'm enabling uh, drilling outside the cube so that you know when we drill outside year uh, outside the year and quarter still the report generates the results if you don't check this option it will not it will not generate the results so. So data sourcing is something like if you create a new report and if you have a cube ready with uh, cube ready and the, the attributes which you use on the report matches with the cube attributes then automatically the, the report will choose that cube and run. So I'm just saving and closing this report. So now we created a report using the intelligence queue. Obviously, it runs faster than uh, normal report which we create uh, directly from the database uh, attributes. Okay, I'm gonna show you like um, one more option uh, which we we'll which we can utilize after building the report using an intelligence queue. So. Say suppose if you want to point this this report to a different intelligent cube, we can always use this option. So it can be found under data intelligent cube options and point into a point grid to a different uh, intelligent cube. And here I, I'll represent like uh, how to create a, uh, a report and convert that into an intelligent cube. Say suppose we have an existing report which is running for a long time and says I, I'm just giving you an example I'm, I'm dragging some attributes and some metrics into the report and uh, so suppose this report is taking long time so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this report and convert this report into an intelligent queue so that uh, it will give us better performance when we run the next time and also we can create uh, a number of reports on top of this and we, we can also set some options using the project configuration properties so here we can set the maximum ram and the maximum number of cubes that can be developed and here also we can we can set the drill down and drill down options and we can we can set the dynamic sourcing option so this is at project level whatever i showed now is at project level the one i showed before is at the cube level So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions please feel free to write to me at bamsi27 at gmail.com.